A very good morning to all the doctors and everybody who have joined the webinar today. It's a pleasure for us to have you all here. This is Dr. Shivangi Singh and I feel very opportunate that I've gotten this opportunity to present the topic Advanced Understanding of Atopic Dermatitis with the help of Radar Opus. And I'm very thankful to the BGEN RX and BGEN publication for giving me this opportunity to represent this topic in front of you all. So let's begin with the introduction. Now first I'm covering the definition part of atopic dermatitis. Atopic dermatitis eczema is a condition that causes dry, itchy, inflamed skin. It is common in young children but can occur at any age. Atopic dermatitis is long lasting, chronic and tend to flare sometimes. It can be irritating but it's not contagious. It causes the skin to become extremely itchy. Scratching leads to further redness, swelling, cracking, weeping, clear flood, crusting and scaling. In most cases, there are period of time when the disease is worse called flares followed by periods when the skin improves or clear up entirely called remissions. Atopic dermatitis, often referred to as eczema, is a chronic long-lasting disease that causes inflammation, redness, irritation of the skin. It is common condition that usually begins in childhood. However, anyone can get the disease at any age. Atopic dermatitis is not contagious or it cannot be spread from person to person. It is the most common type of eczema, a skin condition that makes you itchy and leaves red blotches, usually on your face, arms and legs. While it happens most often in children, it also affects an estimated 18 million adults. The rashes tend to flare and go away but then come back again. The word uh, atopic in indicates an association with allergies, while atopic dermatitis is not always due to, an, due to an allergic reaction. It is commonly associated with other allergic disorders. Up to 60% of people with atopic dermatitis develop asthma or hay fever that we call allergic rhinitis later in life. And up to 30% have good aller food allergies. Atopic dermatitis is often the beginning of a series of allergic disorder referred to as atopic march. Development of these disorders typically follows a pattern beginning with atopic dermatitis followed by food allergies then hay fever and finally asthma. However, all individuals with atopic dermatitis will progress through the atopic march and not all individuals with one allergy disease will develop others. So this was all about the introductory part of atopic dermatitis. Now moving on my next slide. I'm covering the etiology. Atopic dermatitis has a complex etiology including genetic and environmental factor which lead to abnormalities in the epidermis and the immune system. Atopic dermatitis is a part of atopic trait which may start simultaneously or in succession in what is known as the atopic march. Patients with the atopic trait have a defective barrier of the skin, upper respiratory tract and lower respiratory tract which lead to their symptomatology. If one parent is atopic, there is more than a 50% chance that their offspring will develop atopic symptom. If both are affected, up to 80% of offspring will be affected. So genetic alteration uh, include loss of function mutation of flagrin. Flagrin is a filament aggregating protein an epidermal protein that is broken down into the natural moisturizing moisturization factor. Flagrin mutation are present in up to 30% of atopic dermatitis patients and may also predispose patient to itchy vulgaris, allergic rhinitis and keratosis pilaris, food hypersensitivity, 
may also cause of exacerbate atopic dermatitis in 10% to 30% of patient 90% of such reactions or flares are caused by eggs milk peanuts soy and wheat so this was all about etiology part now the next slide is epidemiology early onset atopic dermatitis but to Two years old. Most common type of atopic dermatitis, with approximately sixty percent of cases starting by age one, sixty percent of cases resolved by twelve years old. Late onset atopic dermatitis symptoms begin after the onset of puberty, and senile onset atopic dermatitis, an unusual subset with onset in patient older than thirty years old. So atopic dermatitis is seen in approximately 10 to 30 percent of children and 2 to 10 percent of adult in developed countries. This prevalence has increased two to three fold in recent decades. Atopic dermatitis has a higher incidence at higher latitudes, which may be uh, related to decreased sun exposure and lower humidity levels. Now the next slide. is a pathophysiology of atopic dermatitis atopic dermatitis is complex and multifactorial involving elements of barrier dysfunction alteration in cell mediated immune response ige mediated hypersensitivity and environmental factor loss of function mutation in flagrin have been implicated in severe atopic dermatitis due to a potential increase in transepidermal water loss ph alteration and dehydration other genetic factors changes may uh, also have been identified which may alter the skin barrier function resulting in an atopic dermatitis phenotype the imbalance the imbalance of th2 to th1 cytokines observed in atopic dermatitis can create alteration in the cell mediated immune responses and can promote ige mediated hypersensitivity both both of which appear to play a role in the development of atopic dermatitis so one must additionally take into consideration the role of the environment on the causation of atopic dermatitis and the impact of chemicals such as airborne formaldehydes harsh detergent fragrances and preservative use of harsh alkaline detergents in skin care product may also unfavorably alter the skin ph causing downstream changes in enzymes activity and triggering inflammation environmental uh, pollutants can trigger response from both the innate or adaptive immune pathway this this uh, topic will discuss the multifaceted etiology of atopic dermatitis which will help us to potential therapeutic targets so this was all about the pathology part now moving on next slide stages of atopic dermatitis so first one is infants during infancy and up to 2 years of age it is most common for a red rash which may ooze when scratches to appear on the face scalp area of skin around joints that touch when the joints bend some parents worry that the infant has atopic dermatitis in the diaper area however the condition rarely appear in this area so the symptom of atopic dermatitis in in infants can include dry itchy scaly skin a rash on the scalp or cheeks a rash that may bubble and weep clear fluid infant with these symptoms may have trouble sleeping due to itchy skin infants with atopic dermatitis may also develop skin infections from scratching now the next one is childhood the next stage is childhood during childhood 
usually two years of age to puberty, it is most common for a red thickened rash, which may oozes or bleed when scratched to reappear on the elbows and knees, usually in the bend, neck and ankles. Now the symptom in children can include a rash in the elbow, knees or both. Scaly patches of skin at the site of the rash, lightened or darkened skin spots, thick leathery skin, extremely dry and scaly skin, rashes on the neck and face, especially around the eyes. Now the third stage, teens and adults. During the teenage and adult years, it is most common for a red to dark brown scaly rash which may bleed and crust when scratched to re reappear on the hands, neck, elbow and knees, usually in the bends, skin around the eyes, ankles and feet. Adults with, uh, now this I'm going to discuss the symptoms. So adults with atopic dermatitis tend to have skin that extremely dry and scaly. According to the American Academy of Dermatology Association, adults tend to get uh, atopic dermatitis in different places than children. Commonly affected areas include back of the knees, crooks of the elbow, back of the neck, face. Adults are also more likely to have symptoms around their eyes also. Now moving on next slide, that is the symptoms. Symptoms of atopic dermatitis can be seen like dry and scratched skin, itchiness that we call pruritus, rash on swelling skin that varies in color depending on your skin color, small raised bumps on brown or black skin, oozing and crusting, thickened skin, darkening of the skin around the eyes, raw sensitive skin from the scratching so atopic dermatitis symptoms can appear anywhere on the body and vary widely from person to person so they may include red dry patches of skin rashes that may ooze weep clear fluid or bleed when scratched thickening and hardening of the skin Symptoms can flare in multiple areas of the body at the same time and can appear in the same locations and in new location. The reappearance and location of the rash vary depending on age. However, the rash can appear anywhere on the body. Patients with darker skin tone often experience darkening or lightening of the skin in areas of skin inflammation. Now the next slide is atopic dermatitis triggers. Strong soap and detergents. Some fabrics like wool or scratchy materials, perfumes, skincare products and makeup, pollen molds and animal dandos, tobacco smoke, stress and anger, dry winter air, low humidity, long or hot showers bath, sweating, skin infection or especially dry skin certain hormones now after this i'm going to discuss about the risk factor of atopic dermatitis so the risk of developing atopic dermatitis is much higher in those whose family members are affected for example the concordance rate of atopic dermatitis in monozygotic twins is around 75 percent meaning that the risk of the disease in the twin sibling is 75 percent if the co-twin is affected in contrast the risk in dizygomatic twin is only 30 percent this shows that a genetic factor play a role in the susceptibility to atopic dermatitis however as there is not complete concordance between zygomatic twins who share all their genes environmental and developmental factor must play a role too. As such, atopic dermatitis is a complex genetic disease arising from the several gene and gene and gene environment interaction. Now moving on my next slide. Optimal management. Now I'm covering the management part. So moisturizer, add moisturize 
and form a barrier that protect the skin so that it retains moisturize. If the protective barrier of skin is damaged, eczema frequently develops. Avoid triggers. Figure out what causes your skin problems and try to avoid those triggers. For example, if certain soap or fabric seem to cause rashes, stop using them. Try to avoid cigarette smoke, animal dandos, pollen if those seem to make your skin worse. Stress, which can make dermatitis worse, although dermatitis is not a physiological condition or a psych sorry a psychological condition constant exposure to water or chemical which can damage the protective barrier function of the skin use cold compresses and wet dressing wraps as directed now i'm going to discuss some uh, prevention parts so moisturize your skin at least twice a day this we discuss in the slide cream ointments sea butter and lotion seal in moisturize choose a product or product that work well for you ideally the best one for you will be safe effective affordable and incentives using petroleum jelly on your body or your baby skin may help prevent development of atopic dermatitis take a daily bath or shower use warm rather than hot water and limit your bath or shower to about 10 minutes use a gentle no soap cleansers choose a cleanser that free of dyes alcohol and fragrance your young children you usually need only warm water to get them clean no soap or bubble bath needed soap can be especially irritating to the skin of young children so the next part I'm going to discuss in the prevention is pad dry. After bathing, gently pat the skin with a soft towel. Apply moisturizer while your skin is still damp within three minutes only. Maintain and protect skin every day. Avoid known triggers and irritants. Treat eczema, flare and severe eczema. Control itching. Apply non-perfume moisturizer to the face and body twice every day. After swimming, especially in chlorinated pools, rinse and apply moisturizer. So this was all about atopic dermatitis from my part. Now I'm going to discuss a live case with you all. So a male patient of age 30 years reported at my clinic with the chief complaints are burning redness itching as well as eczematous lesions over the face neck chest and hands with severe itching and crusting over the left side cheek for the last one year which was gradually increasing in size the patient first developed these lesions two years prior at present the patient complained of itching with sticky water discharge bright redness raised bump from the lesions after scratching eruptions get excoriated the itching was aggravated by warm at night when going for sleep in the bed no amelioration was mentioned by patient now the history of present illness dermatitis is seen first in childhood up to the age of five if may fade away as a child matures, but in our present case, the patient is still suffering from the irritating rash and itchy skin. At presentation, there were scattered patches of dermatitis on the face, neck, chest and hands. Itching especially aggravated by warmth at night when going to sleep in the bed. Itching is also aggravated by perspiration. No amelioration was mentioned by patient. He visited several times to quack doctors and prescribed different ointments but didn't cure. They had been using several lotion on the face but no improvement. No other medical history was remarkable. The patient has a positive history of atopic dermatitis in childhood which was suppressed by using several ointments. So basically the patient is an office worker 
and has no significant history of chemical exposure. He was using an allopathic ointment for one and a half year, which relapses occurring whenever he stopped using the ointment. The rashes or the lesions reoccur. Now the past history, there was a past history of similar skin eruptions with less itching and crusting. Intermittently during his early childhood, there were recurrent gingivitis and dental caries from school days, had hepatitis in 2012, took allopathic treatment and got relieved. In family history, mother, asthma for 12 years, taking allopathic medicines, father, his father has type 2 diabetes mellitus since 4 years. Other mental journals, memory weak, especially get angry and quarrels with others, feels irritable on waking in the morning, desire for alone, can't tolerate contradictions. The patient said only thing that was bothering him not getting relief in spite of taking medicine. He got irritated easily since the complaint started. Now the physical journal, the thermal reaction, chilly patient, tendency to get a catch cold easily. Appetite, he has good appetite, taste, desire for sweets and meat, perspiration, journalized with offensive order. Thirst, he become thirsty so often and drink three and three half liter of water. Urine, offensive in order, stool, normal, satisfactory once in a day. Sleep, sleep was disturbed at night due to itching, dreams not specific. So thank you so much for staying with us. We will starting the presentation and training. How can we repertorize this case with the help of radar open software? I will be sharing my screen to all of you. So this is Dr. Shivangi Singh and I will be demonstrating you all about how you can get started with radar opus and how can we repertorize the case. So before I start, let me explain to our viewers how this interface work on the right hand side panel of your screen you have a small chat box or a short chat box you may type your question or whatever message you have right there press button next to it to send it to us okay now i'm going to start my presentation so whenever you open your radar open software we, you will be able to see your screen exactly like this. Synthesis Adonis repository is open by default and the above icons are known as icon bar or toolbar. These icons are known as icon bar or toolbar and these five icons which are present on the left hand side of your screen are known as primary icons. Consist of repertories, references, patient management, remedies, and families. So today I'm going to do my repertorization from Synthesis Adonis repository. So first I'm going to tell you how you just open your repository and start your repertorization. So first you go to this repertories icon. If you click on this icon, you'll get all the list of repertories. Radar comes with multiple repertories. So today I'm going to do my repertorization from Synthesis Adonis. This repository is a successor version of Synthesis Treasure Edition. So as soon as I clicked on my Adonis, my Adonis have opened on my main display screen. So for doing the repertorization from this repository, I will be needing few icons. So the first icon is this binocular find rubric. If you click on this icon, you will get this navigation window on your main screen. It contains all the chapters that belongs to this particular repository. So the first symptom I'm going to take, 
but patient is feels irritable on waking in the morning so irritable is a mental rubric i'm going to the mind chapter first if you click on your chapter you'll get all the rubrics so you can scroll and search your rubric like this by scrolling like this else you can search with the help of this search bar start typing the first letter of the rubric you wish to see right down in front of this so this my patient first symptom is patient is feeling irritable on waking in the morning so i'm going to type here irritable irritability just write down the initial you'll get your rubric below irritability morning waking on now press enter button on your keyboard now my rubric have open on my main display screen from mind chapter irritability is my rubric morning waking on are my sub rubric so we have multiple clipboards here they are just like our repertory sheet so for repertorization i'm going to add these rubric into this clipboard and it will automatically get repertorized so for taking any rubric into this clipboard we have three method the first one is dragging and dropping like this with the help of your cursor you can drag it and drop it next two method i'm going to tell you with my next two subsequent rubrics the next symptom i'm going to take the patient easily get angry and quarrels with other so i'm going to take the rubric quarrels so i'm going to the mind chapter you'll get this rubric in the mind chapter write down here quarrelsome just write down the initial you'll get your rubric below now press enter button now your rubric have open on your main display screen from mind chapter quarrelsome is my rubric i'm going to add the second rubric into my clipboard with the help of my second method and my second method is plus button plus button on my keyboard is the plus is the second method as soon as you pressed your plus button your rubric is added to the clipboard the next symptom i'm going to take a patient is having a desire for a loan he don't want company so the patient is basically having company aversion so for company aversion i'm going to the mind chapter again write down here company just write down the initial get your rubric below you'll get your sub rubrics also like aggravation aversion to and desire for i'm going to add this second rubric uh, sub rubric that is aversion to a press enter button now my rubric have open on my main display screen from mind chapter company is my rubric aversion to is my sub rubric now i'm going to add the second sorry third rubric into my clipboard with the help of my third method and my third method is this icon take the current rubric icon next to this binocular we have this icon as soon as you clicked on your icon your rubric is added to the clipboard so we have three method the first one is dragging and dropping second method is plus button on your keyboard and the third method is this icon take the current rubric icon okay now i'm going to take my next symptom patient is also uh, having the problem of a uh, weakness of memory so memory is also mental rubric i'm going to the mind chapter write down here memory weakness of memory now press enter button now your rubric have open on your main display screen from your mind chapter memory is my rubric weakness of memory is my sub rubric now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of first method that is dragging and dropping method like this the next symptom i'm going to take my patient is having itching in eruptions or in lesions uh, while go to a uh, bed during night so patient is having the aggravation from warmth of bed basically so i'm going to the skin chapter for this rubric write down here is eruptions teaching 
warm bed a gravish now my rubric have open on my main display screen from skin chapter skin chapter eruption skin warm bed aggravation i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of second method that is a plus button on my keyboard as soon as you press your plus button your rubric is added to the clipboard now the next symptom i'm going to take uh, my patient is having the problem of itching that was aggravated by perspiration so having the aggravation during perspiration in eruption so i'm going to the skin chapter again skin eruptions perspiration during i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of third method and my third method is this i can take the current rubric i can next to this binocular so as soon as you clicked on your press the on your this icon your rubric is added to the clipboard now the next symptom i'm going to take the eruptions was a uh, red and crusty so i'm going to the skin chapter again skin eruptions were red or crusty so first i'm going to take the eruptions were red eruptions red from skin chapter we have this rubric eruption is our rubric red is our sub rubric now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of this dragging and dropping method i'm going to drag it and drop it next one is crusty so again i'm going to the skin chapter skin write down here eruptions crusty my rubric have open on my main display screen from skin chapter eruptions are my rubric crusty are my sub rubric now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of second method and my second method is plus button on my keyboard as soon as you press your plus button your rubric is added to the clipboard now the next symptom of my patient is after scratching the eruption get excoriated so again i'm going to the skin chapter write down here eruptions no this time going to the skin excoriation excoriation just write down the initial get your rubric below excoriation enter now my rubric have open from skin chapter excoriation is my rubric now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of third method and my third method is this i can take the current rubric i can next to this binocular okay so the next symptom i'm going to take my patient is having a uh, offensive urine so the uh, urine was also offensive so i'm going to the urine chapter urine order offensive Now my rubric have open on my main display screen from urine chapter order is my rubric offensive is my sub rubric now i'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of first method that is dragging and dropping method i'm going to drag it and drop it the next symptom i'm going to take my patient is having the strong desire for meat and sweets so for desires i'm going to the genetics chapter If you click on this chapter, you'll get all the rubrics. So, in front of this, start typing the first letter of the rubric you wish to see. I'm going to type my rubric: food and drinks chapter, meat desire. Write down here meat, meat desire. Now press enter button. 
Now my rubric have opened on my main display screen from Jonadi's chapter, Food and Drinks, my rubric, Meet Our Desire. It's my serve rubrics. Now I'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of second method. And my second method is plus button on my keyboard. Now you can see here, my rubric has been added to this clipboard. The last symptom of my patient is my patient is having the desire for sweet also. So again, I'm going to the Jonity's chapter. Again, I'm going to the food and drinks rubric. Desire. Sweets. Desire. I press enter button now my rubric have opened on my main display screen from Jonity's chapter food and drinks my rubric sweet desires are my sub rubric now I'm going to add this rubric into the clipboard with the help of third method and my third method is this icon take the current rubric icon next to this binocular as soon as you pressed your this icon your rubric is added to the clipboard so i have taken all the rubrics into my clipboard now i'm going to my clipboard just click on your clipboard you will get your analysis you will get your rubrics i'll get all the chapters rubrics and sub rubrics you'll get your probable remedies and grading accordingly so basically we have taken 12 rubrics here so sulfur cover all the 12 rubrics and the grading will be 30 the total will be 30 if you add these number like 2 plus 3 plus 2 2 plus 3 1 3 3 the total will be 30 here rustox cover 11 rubrics out of 12 and the total is 24 Natremure cover 10 rubrics out of 12 and the total will be 19 so according to this you'll get your grading Suppose you want to read any remedy from your probable remedy list. So you just open it directly by double click on it. Suppose you want to read this sulfur. So double click on your sulfur. Your sulfur would open on your main display screen like this. By scrolling like this, you can read your remedy. One more thing I'm going to tell you, our software is all in one interface. So whatever icon you open will remain open in different tabs. So in this tab, my analysis remains open. I'm coming back to my analysis. Suppose you want to read Brynia. Now double click on it and your Brynia will open on your main display screen with a multimedia image of their plant. You can read this remedy by scrolling. Okay, so I'm going back to my analysis. So this was all about analysis, repertoireization, how you can find your chapter rubrics from different chapters and from synthesis adonis repertories and here you will get your all the remedies so i'm going to the prescription part Basically, a sulfur was selected as a patient had ichi which was aggravated by warmth and hot weather a history of suppression and a history of many uh, eruptions, skin eruption during childhood. On the basis of above complaints, sulfur's affinity for disease of the skin, one dose of sulfur, sorry, the five dose of sulfur was prescribed nine hourly, followed by rubrum. 34 pills into BD for 10 days was prescribed on the first visit, considering the totality repertorial totality of the patient the journal management i have given to my patient he was advised to continue the discontinue the allopathic remedies and patient was instructed not to use any other treatment for the same condition and to moisturize this coconut oil in case of dryness and avoid scratching during the next and the second follow-up, the redness of lesions slide better. Discharges from the eruption decreases slightly, but itching and burning slightly increase. Urinary complaints slide better, but remaining complaints same. I have prescribed against sulfur 200 single dose state orally, followed by placebo 4 pills 
tds six hourly for 10 days the journal management i have given he was advised to apply coconut oil at the pigmented sites and avoid scratching the lesions during the third follow up at the last follow up the patient had clear and healthy skin and was feeling much better all his eruption disappeared only mild pigmentation at the site of eruption is left no itching and burning his condition had improved by 80% so i have prescribed placebo bd for 15 days so this is my repertorial sheet my repertorization okay so this was all about gastritis and how can we repertorize a case with the help of synthesis adonis repertory and from radar opus software from my part now all right now i would like to request all the viewers to comment in the chat box with their questions now we will begin the question answer session so a learner wants to know what are the first symptom of atopic eczema okay basically swelling oozing crusting are all signs of atopic eczema in a practical sense swelling oozing crusting and itching probably all occur simultaneously okay now i'm going to take the next question from the viewer side is is it possible to prevent eczema okay uh, a viewer wants to know is it possible to prevent eczema there is no sure fire away to present eczema some experts believe that regular moisturization of the skin may be some form of preservative preventative or preventative measures now the another question from a viewer side i'm going to take what are some triggers for atopic eczema basically this i have discussed in my slide also so sweat soap clothing environmental factor play an important role in triggering atopic eczema or atopic dermatitis it is uh, not usually for patient with atopic uh, dermatitis to note that sweating during exercise during hard detergent or wearing wool clothing can produce itching or trigger flare of atopic dermatitis basically now i think we have uh, almost taken up all the questions so the let's uh, let's take the last question from a viewer side is does dermatitis burn okay so a viewer wants to know uh, does dermatitis burn some people feel a burning sensation other feels uh, itchiness or both itchiness and burning feeling the sensation vary from person to person from type of dermatitis or from type to type basically so let's wind up here thank you everyone i would like to thank all the viewers and the homeopathic fraternity who have joined us here today thank you thank you so much have a great day keep learning keep improving